What's up everyone? In this video I'm going to show you how you can easily and professionally scan documents with your Samsung Galaxy A35 5G. Welcome back to the video. My name is Sergio and in this channel I make life-saving tech videos. So if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. I also got a bunch of cool links down below in the description of the video. So let's jump right in. So, so if you want to easily and professionally scan documents on your Samsung Galaxy A35 this is how you're going to want to do it. Okay so usually if you open up your camera app and you try to scan the document with your phone you will most likely see this T right here. This means that it is scanning for text so if you press it it will do just that it will outline the corners of the document and scan for text here you can go ahead and hit this down arrow key right here and that will save the document document saved so if you open up your file here it will open up as a scan okay now this is useful when you want to scan single page documents. If you want to scan multiple pages into one PDF document, this is how I do it. It's completely free and I've been doing it for over 15 years. So I use this app called Cam Scanner. All you got to do is when you're setting up the app for the first time, make sure that you disable this free trial enabled thing because you're not going to want to pay for the premium version. You're just going to want to want to use the basic version, which is completely free. So in the setup, you just have to skip the payment method. Don't add no payment methods. Just skip it here. You have to allow permissions for the camera and this is what the app will look like. So once you're ready to scan either a single document more professionally or multiple pages into one PDF, you're gonna go ahead and select this camera, this green camera icon right here. And right here, as you can see, you can either select to scan a single file or a batch of pages. Okay, so we're gonna do a batch so you can see. Here we're gonna be scanning uh, this document that I have right here. So I'm just gonna place my camera above it where it completely covers the entire page. And once we're ready, we're gonna select snap here to take the picture. Okay, as you can see, it automatically does auto cropping. So here, just hit continue. Here you can select to adjust after each picture or after each scan. So I will select adjust later using the cropping tool, okay? Okay, here we're gonna skip to the second page. We're gonna go ahead to the third page. And the fourth page. Okay, and you can do this with as many pages as you need, 10, 20 pages, no problem. Um, you can scan as many pages as you need. So once you have all the pictures for all the pages taken, we're gonna, they're gonna see them right here. Or you're gonna select them and it's gonna automatically edit each page into a professionally scanned page. Okay, as you can see, it will adjust the colors and brightness of it, of the text to make it stand out more and appear like a more professional scan. Here you can swap between pages to make sure that they all look correct. Okay, once they all look good, they're all readable and the cropping is good, you can go ahead and hit the green arrow down here to finish the document. Okay, so here we have all of the pages. What you wanna do here is you wanna go ahead and select share. Here I'm gonna select share PDF. And since I have my email set up, I'm gonna go ahead and select Gmail. Type in your email that you wanna send it to. And once you have it uh, completely typed in, you're gonna go ahead and hit the blue envelope up here to send it, okay? And there you go, it sent it. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, check the email now to open up the file. Okay, so as you can see, the email came in, it takes about a second, cam scanner. We're gonna go ahead and open it up to check out how the document looks. And since it's a PDF file, we have to choose how we wanna open it. So uh, let's open it up here with uh, Samsung Notes, PDF reader. And as you can see, here is the file. So it is a couple different pages, but it is all together as one professionally scanned document. Okay, so keep in mind with Cam Scanner, you can also share it in many different ways. You can either save it to your phone, you can share it as a JPEG file, okay, you can send it to your PC, or you can send it directly to a wireless printer and print it out. All right, everyone, so yeah, that is how you easily and professionally scan documents on your Samsung Galaxy A35 5G. Go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and you got something out of it. Comment down below, let me know, and that's all for this one. I'll catch you in the next one. And as always, peace.